The day has finally arrived. It's been a highly anticipated moment for most career mode fans around the globe. The addition of the Scottish teenage sensation, Karamoko Dembele. FIFA 20 adds to its ever-growing catalogue of hyped-up wonder kids and Celtic's best young talent is no different. The young youth academy gem has been making headlines for years now. Recently turning 17 years old, he's appeared in Pez and Football Manager before, but today he finally gets to make his FIFA debut. Karamoko is going to undergo a classic career mode growth test as we monitor his performances, growth and development at Celtic season by season, tracking his career to find out is he going to be the next big thing in world football or is he going to be an overhyped flop. With our main aim of course to win the Champions League, playing out the final with Karamoko at the peak of his powers, so let's get started. Here he is in all his glory, it is Karamoko Dembele, 16 years of age, the right winger showing great potential, I do believe that EA have gifted him with 85 potential but you all know with these growth tests, we're going to try and smash that out the park. We're going to aim in the high 80s, maybe even in the 90s, who knows. But for now, he's just a sporadic first team player. He's wearing the Nike boots, the number 77, 64 overall. And straight from the get-go, he's gifted with four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, which is absolutely insane. And I was quite surprised that he is actually English and not Scottish after he played so many games for the Scottish team. And then now he's finally decided to pick England. Fair enough, but he is five foot three, left-footed and has a high attack and work rate, medium defensive. On the surface level, this is looking outstanding right now. With his physical stats, acceleration, agility, balance, and sprint speed are all in the dark greens already. He is going to be electrifying by the time we finish this growth test. Nevertheless, he's got to deal with his strength and stamina issues for now. 25 strength. Oh my goodness gracious me, Karamoko. We got to hit the gym together, buddy. This is not on. However, in the technical department, there is a lot of room for improvement. These stats need boost and dribbling is the highest rated at 72. One of the only Wonder Kids we've done these growth tests with have started off with a few traits here. He does have the flare trait and the long shot taker trait, which I didn't expect from him. And the Englishman has really got a few good things going for him. Still only 16. In context to his career, he's in his infancy, containing a market value of 875k. He's on 2k a week. And this is how young Karamoko will be lining up in this Celtic squad. They do have a 4-3-3 attack and he'll be starting at that right wing position. Guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video and you're hyped for the Karamoko Dembele growth test, make sure to slap that like button down below. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Make sure to comment down below who should be the next up and coming bright future star that should have their very own growth test. So it was a more than successful opening debut season for young Karamoko, now 17 years of age, still showing great potential. He's gone up by a plus four to 68 overall. He's in good form and we'll take a look at his performance stats, 23 appearances three goals and one assist. Decent output for a teenager. Those numbers aren't, you know, the best, but you can't expect all too much from him in the opening season right now. His stamina has gone up over in the physical department. His attributes have increased. And nevertheless, there's still a few dodgy areas that we have to continue to maintain and develop over the years. But ball control has now been the second stat to reach that light green. 72. Dribbling has increased up to a 78. And all the technicals, every single one, which you love to see, has improved through throughout the course of season one. And you bet those traits aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Flair and long shot taker traits are still well and truly intact and he's now valued at 1.6 million pounds. A plus 82% boost for the English right winger and Mr. Dembele is off to a flying start here at Celtic. The addition of Dembele was gargantuan. EA snap, they dropped him and literally the career mode world was shook. Nevertheless, season two has kind of been a bit of a topsy-turvy season. There was no second season syndrome that I'm aware of, but he has received a major injury. He's on the treatment desk for quite some time with an MCL injury, but he did go up a plus three overall. Now cracking into the 70s at 71 overall. He did have 31 appearances, four goals and one assist. So one more goal than last season. More appearances as well. And I can't imagine how much more game time he would have received if he'd never picked up that injury. But we've always got to go through these tough times. Luckily, it's only at the beginning. We can recover. And hey, look at that. The strength goes up to a plus one a 26 strength that is absolutely shocking abysmal to say the least but he makes up for it with his physical stats now agility nearing max stats right there 98 balance at a 90 acceleration 93 and sprint speed hits the 90 as well dribbling has now crept up into the 82 the first dark green stat in the technical area that we can report on ball control continues to improve and strides into the mid 70s upgrades all around besides defensive awareness the technicals do have another 
season to remember, now valued at 4.4 million pounds, that is a record-breaking 175% increase upon season one. We're in for a marathon, not a sprint. This growth test is going to be one of the longest yet, and the young Englishman seems to have found his feet here at Celtic in Scotland. He has now received another plus three back-to-back -back overall boost, now up to a 74. Well and truly within the mid-70s, still showing great potential, and at 19 years of age, he has received 48 appearances, six goals, no assist to show for it, but that is a record breaker, nearly doubling his appearances last season. Progress has been made, and the manager is showing his faith in him, which you love to see. Karamoko Dembele really making a name for himself over in Scotland, and now look at those physical stats. Every single attribute increasing, even the strength going up a plus one, the stamina now reaching into the 50s. Our first 99 stat, the agility has reached it, maxed out by season three, and acceleration just one away from that 99. Over in the technical area, every single stat besides defensive awareness has improved. Boost awarded to the likes of dribbling, which is near 90. Now ball control at a 77. And long shots has been the next stats to be introduced to the light green area now at a 75. Now with a base value of 8.5. 5 million pounds. You always know we try, aim, and strive for that 100 million pound mark. That is the goal. It's the dream. And now getting 35 bags a week, Dembele is only just getting started. He's really established himself into the starting 11 this year, and without any injuries, just a clean slate heading into season four. It might even be his biggest one yet. Season four sees Karamoko now at 20 years of age, but it's injury that striked again. We're in crisis mode right now. He's tore his ACL. Another big boy injury that's impacted his season, if not career right now, with a six-month time on the sideline. He still managed to grind it out and get that plus three overall boost now. The Englishman is still at a 77 overall. We have 46 appearances, only one goal and one assist to show for. Two goal contributions in nearly 50 games. Yeah, you gotta pump those numbers up, Dembele. That is just not good enough. And I guess he's got a long time to go, but he can polish his craft. He can get better and you can see there the acceleration it is now the second stat to hit 99 alongside agility. Sprint speed only one point away now at 98. Meanwhile, stamina and strength get a little incremental boosts. And the mental side of his game also took a sharp turn as we take a glance over at the technical department. It was every single stat besides long passing and stand tackle to receive a boost. Now with short passing entering the light green territory, dribbling at an 89 and ball control reaching the dark green area at an 81. As we analyze his financial situation now valued at 17 5 million pounds, a plus 105% upgrade upon Season 3. Performance-wise and injury-wise, not the season we are hoping for. This was set to be a breakout year for Karamoko. We are going to have our high hopes for Season 5, but I guess Celtic are winning a lot of silverware, so Dembele is really living it up, gaining some medals, getting some silverware under his belt. He is slowly transforming into a born winner. Here we are at Season 5. It's a massive milestone. We're about halfway through the growth test right now. He's finally hit 21 years of of age. He's gone up a plus three in terms of overall. Now sitting at an 80. If there's one thing I can say, he's been very consistent with his overall growth. Not topping the plus four he had in season one, but still maintaining a solid increase every single year. Something I didn't decide to point out from last season is that his potential status has moved up from showing great potential to now has potential to be special. So he's on track to exceeding 85. He's not happy with his contract, which we've got to sort out behind the scenes, but he's proved this time around that he's more of an assister than a goal scorer with nine goal contributions. He's racked up five goals and four assists in 55 appearances, receiving crucial game time week in, week out, which is exactly what you want, but he's getting outshunned by the likes of Venetius Jr. Nitchum with 44 goals and 25 assists. I mean, we have this exact same, not problem, but just inconvenience throughout every single growth test, and it's just not ideal, but hey, we've got to deal with it. In terms of the attribute sector, it is strength that continues to be abysmal, just one away from 30 at 20. The stamina has increased to a 60, which is respectable. Sprint speed, agility, acceleration, all maxed out, which you should know about by now. And balance sitting at a 95 as we take a glance at the technical department. Finishing off season five, it is long shot sitting at an 84, entering the dark green territory alongside ball control. Shot power and short passing have reached the light greens and dribbling sits at a very strong 92. It is valued at 29 million pounds, a plus 65% upgrade upon season four. We've got to sort his contract out, but that'll be 
be behind the scenes. There was no injury crisis to worry about this year, and that's the way we want it. Gareth Southgate, pick up the phone, get him on the plane. He needs to get his first England call up. He needs to wrap the three Lions one day down the line, but we've got to wait for now. Season six awaits. The sixth season is all over Red Rover. We've had another potential status change. He's gone from having potential to be special to has that special something. I'm not all too sure how that is going to affect his growth and whatever overall he's going to end up by the end of the video. But now he stands at a plus two, sitting at 82 overall. On record, that's the lowest he's ever grown in a singular season. Now the 22-year-old plus two is still great with 54 appearances, four goals and one assist. It's a similar story to last season, really. Just other key players in the squad outshining the English youngster, Eduard, with 36 goals. Vinicius Jr., Oliver Nitchum, just out of nowhere with 43 goals and 12 assists from CDM. He's an absolute machine. As we return our focus back to Karamoko, his balance has nearly maxed out there at a 98. Reactions have gone up to a 72. As we move on to the finishing, he's entered the light green territory. Ball control and long shot sitting at an 85 and 86 respectively. And every single stat besides penalties, volleys and dribbling, which is already at a 92, has received upgrades this season, which is what you love to see. He's now valued at nearly 50 million pounds. He's now sitting at 43.5 million pounds, a clean plus 50% upgrade upon season five. You can feel it in the air. Something's brewing here. Karamoko is on the verge of greatness. Let's see where he can take this Celtic team alongside all of his other compatriots in the squad. Let's take over Scotland. Let's take over Europe. Let's see if Dembele can take over the world. No one is standing in the way of Karamoko Dembele. Let's see if season seven was in fact lucky. He's now sitting at an 83 overall, 23 years of age. He still has that special something. He's now broken through to the double figures of goal contributions, six goals and four assists for him this season. As the number 77 proves why he is a crucial first team player. He is a key piece to the puzzle in this Celtic squad, the key to their success. And we can finally celebrate strength has hit the 30s. Thank God for that. Even though it is still absolutely terrible, stamina has increased up to a 66. Vision even at a 68. Short passing, long shots, crossing, and even ball control receiving notable upgrades. And the financial situation, he's cracked the halfway stage of our valuation goal. It is 51 million pounds, a plus 45% increase upon season six. He's now earning over 100k a week, thoroughly deserved by the 23 year old. And I bet the youngster now can't wait to get stuck in into season eight. As Celtic continue to develop into a gargantuan force of Scottish football, Karaoke Dembele is going to pick back off that momentum and it's another classic plus two overall boost now reaching an 85 overall five away from the 90 still only 24 years of age and he has that special something he's in good form and his morale is absolutely the best it can be he's very happy at the club it might come to you as a shock but his performance stats that is some of the best we've seen so far it's taken eight years but 65 appearances a record 13 goals is also a record and four assists it's not a record but 17 goal contributions and i guess all the training all the hard yards he's put in over the years are finally paying off being surrounded by world-class players not much really to talk about in the physicals considering there are so many maxed out dark green stats but reactions and visions get a few notable upgrades ball control and crossing reaching both an 87 which is quite surprising long shots now up to a 95 dribbling has also received a similar increase up to a 95 as well finishing and shot power in the light greens there with a 73 and a 74 he's received exponential growth now three quarters of the way to the main 100 million mark 75.5 million pound valuation a plus 48 percent improvement upon season seven we love a successful Dembele season without an injury crisis let's hope it stays that way as a right winger makes that position his own he's heading into season nine with his head held up high let's see where Celtic and Karamoko will end up in these final few years his ninth season complete here at Celtic now 25 years of age you've guessed it it's another plus two overall boost reaching that 87 overall he's still has that special something. He's in good form and he's happy. There's nothing much more you could ask for there. He's reached a new level in terms of his performance stats as well with 64 appearances, 23 goals, 8 assists. That is a combined 31 goal contributions. Another career best, another record he has broken and trust me, that statue is getting built outside Celtic Park. Karamoko Dembele is bordering a club legend right now as move over into his attribute boost. Vision getting a notable increase there. Stamina now up to a 60 eight and in the technicals it is rapid transformation long shots being maxed out at 99 with a plus four growth short passing also at an 84 finishing reaching 77 dribbling now at a 96 with both crossing and ball control in the high 80s 89 and 88 respectively in terms of the 
financial sector hasn't really had the most exponential growth, hasn't had a crazy season to report on, but a 5% growth, meaning Carabogo Dembele is now valued at £80 million on the transfer market. We're going to cover how Celtic have performed throughout this season. We have reached the double digits now with season 10, and it was just absolute and utter domination. No games lost, every single game won. They maintain their 100% record, and in the Scottish Cup, it is an old firm derby, Celtic versus Rangers. They're going to fight it out. We're going to simulate that final. And the final we're definitely going to play will be the Champions League final up against AC Milan, 26th of May, 2029. And Celtic have found themselves in the big dance. It was always set to succeed and dominate here at Celtic. And he's proven to be one of their best talents right here, sitting at an 88 overall. It's only a plus one overall increase. Nevertheless, it is still a great achievement, something to admire. He's really transformed over the years, over this course of this decade, into a top class baller. He's unhappy with his contract nonetheless. He's still very happy at the club. He's in good form, which he's maintained throughout the past five years right now. 54 appearances this time out with 12 goals and 8 assists. 20 goal contributions for the young lad. He's doing his part. He's getting involved and he's done so ever since day one. You can't underestimate his effort. You can't say that he hasn't given 100% year in, year out. And now let's take a look at his final attributes right here. Balance now receiving a plus 2 boost, sitting at 97. His final strength stat is 32. Okay, he did not take our gym advice whatsoever, but the vision has now reached an 84 out of nowhere. Crossing and ball control now have breached that 90 territory. Ball control at a 90, crossing in the 93. Short passing sitting at an 86. And finishing has just missed out on the 80 mark, sitting at a 79. Shot power now at 75. Long shot smacks out and dribbling is at a 96. The financial situation, it wasn't the dream finale we had in our heads. Only valued at 89.5 million pounds. No 100 million pound mark. Unfortunately, the man who overshadowed him throughout his whole entire career, Venetius Jr., is injured for these final two games. It's the last chance of silverware. We're going to actually gift Karamoka Dembele the captaincy, to be honest. I don't know if he has the leadership traits. I don't know if he is a big talker on the pitch, but we wanted to lift the trophies at the end of the day for this massive growth test finale. It's the furthest we've gone for quite a while now. And here we are. It's the old firm derby, the biggest game in Scotland. Let's see how we do against Stevie G's side. It is a 4-0 dominating win. It is two centre-backs amongst the goals and Sandro Tonali with two. Dembele came off early, but still, it is a crushing victory in the final. Celtic are in full force right now to take on AC Milan. Let's get this Champions League trophy. Just take me back to the days where he was just a young Scottish wonder kid breaking through at Celtic. Now, obviously, repping England and, of course, Celtic throughout these whole entire years. He solidified his state as a club legend and he's leading out his boyhood club tonight. Hopefully, those ribbons on the trophy will be green and white of Celtic and not black and red of AC Milan. That was their road to the final with a 5-1 victory over Liverpool, 4-1 over Manchester United as well. They have shown their class tonight. They're ready to showcase their talent alongside Dembele as well in the final. Almost a decade later and now it is a moment we could never have dreamed of. Karamoko Dembele do the job out there. Let's hope Celtic get this W. Tonali can see the run of I believe that is Karamoko Dembele. I got confused with him and Frimpong, but he'll use a bit of skill. He'll try and work his way into the box, and you could already tell he's just electric, full of pace, and so agile on the ball as well. The low center of gravity does do him some favors, and now we'll take the shot. Donnarumma was comfortable, but we are showing some warning signs right here. Oh no, look at AC Milan working their way through. It is Brooks. Brooks with a free shot, balloon and saved. Big header away. That's what we need, but Milan still continuing to pressure. And it's another big shot. Boadu will get it down, control it. Karamoka Dembele, the furthest man forward. And the number 77 can see the run. He just scoops it over the top to Buki Osaka. And Saka will drag back over to Zaracho again. We'll see Boadu free. And then on the outside, it is Tenali. Oh, and we can't get it through. Donnarumma with a point blank save, and it will be a corner. Look at that ball over the top to Daniel Maldini, a fellow growth test we've done on the channel. Don't come back to haunt us tonight, son. Alfonso Davies gives the ball away. This is absolute danger right here. And Maldini threw on goal. This is the first time it's happened. A former growth test player. And it's 1-0 to the good AC Milan against the run of play. We've been shocked to the core. And Lunin off his line. The Ukrainian can't keep that out. I am rattled at the moment. And the number 98 is really flipping the script. Time is on our side, boys. Don't worry. Karamoko 
Show us what you're made of. He needs to snap into it. And here we go. Boadu can give the ball off. A lovely little one too. And that was a terrible shot. And it's Boadu in the middle. Always drawing the defender. Karamoko Dembele tries to chip it across his line. And Donnarumma was wary. We have to be aware of his dodgy stamina situation. Because he's already running out of juice in the tank. But now on his unfavored right foot. He'll cut back on the left. He'll find it out inside and Tonali will unleash. Oh, the player got in the way there, but thankfully Zaracho was first to the rebound and we finally get our deserved equalizer, I should say. The Argentine gets us back into the game. Unsurprisingly, that was made through our Karamoko Dembele. The Tonali shot was all too good for the player to clear off the line. A few lucky deflections and it's an open goal for Zaracho. 1-1. And if we could get a second before half time, that could really change the complexion of this match. And Karamoko Dembele, he needs half time. He needs a bit of a rest as the stamina issue is still prevalent. And what a header by Boadu. It's two in quick succession. And that one was definitely a Karamoko Dembele assist. The number nine leaps above the pack like a salmon. Finds the back of the net. And that was a real poacher's finish. The cross in from the captain as well was sumptuous. Pinpoint accuracy from our number 77. The little cheeky Ronaldo chop in there as well. But Wadu guides it into the top left-hand corner. And Karamoko gets his well-deserved assist. It is 2-1. And we find the lead for the first time in this match. And that is halftime. We do have a bit of an update, though, with Alfonso Davies being sent off. We're down to 10 men for the rest of the second 45. Oh, what a ball on the inside. Where have our defense gone? Of course, we're still down to 10 men. But that is just unacceptable. Brooks Lunin. Oh, Lunin, you absolute hero. The Ukrainian saves us from conceding the equalizer. Oh, you got to feel sorry for him. I don't think he can last the 90 minutes. He's really suffering. He's struggling, to be honest. And this stamina is really causing a bigger problem than I once anticipated. But we move. 20 minutes left to play, and it's anyone's game. It's an open game. And I can just smell chaos on the horizons as Brooks works his way over. The Welshman, Brooks, still continuing to find his way through. And it's Maldini with the double. He's not offside either. And our 10 men Celtic cannot keep out that one. With 19 minutes to play, the number 98 gets his second half goal. And Brooks with the threaded through ball. And it was an unmarked Maldini. Gets a pass Lunen. It's now 2-2. But AC Milan are just on every single ball we create. Oh, jeez. That would have been a beautiful goal. But Lunen denies. Pushes forward. Can Karamoko set up Eduard? He's fresh off the bench. Look at the pace from the Frenchman. Eduard, the number 22 with the last kick of the game. Low true ball. And that will be extra time to try and separate these two sides. It has been neck and neck throughout the entire game. And 2-2 headed into an extra half an hour. And that will be that. Penalties it is. And Karam, we can't be separated in the extra time period. To decide it from the spot kick, let's hope Karamoko can even kick a ball after 120 minutes of playtime because his stamina is absolutely shot dead. Right, we're advancing. It is Oshiman first penalty. Surely we can win this one. No, it will be into the back of the net. Eduard, we're going to focus and try and reach that right-hand side. And Donnarumma doesn't even budge. Right over to Olsen. What is the Dane going to do? Oh, I knew it was going left as well. He converts. Cool and calm. And Billy Gilmore. Surely the Scotsman can do it for his club. And that is a cool, calm penalty. Back to Alexanderson. I think it's a regen. And he will hit the post. Okay, sucker. Now this is your time. The Englishman joining forces with his fellow Englishman. And Donnarumma saves. Fortune, another regen. And he, that's unsavable. I can't even lie. Aramoko, your career has led up to this moment. 10 years here at Celtic. A club legend. And it just eases its way past Donnarumma. And now it is Brooks. The Welshman misses. Is that a win? No, we need one more. Okay, we should have put Dembele on the fifth penalty. Nevertheless, it is Kamavinga with the chance. To win the Champions League final on penalties. And it's into the top right hand corner. What a finish from Kamavinga. And the Frenchman confirms our Champions League victory. It has been an intense night here at Wembley. And the Englishman has won on English soil. London is green and white. And Celtic lift up the Champions League. Karamoko Dembele with a crucial game. He really battled it out. Pushed through. He gained his second win. Converted his penalty as well. Even though it was very fine margins. But he will lift up the Champions League trophy. We're going to be split in 120 minutes. It was 2-2. And that will be that full time. And that will be the Karamoko Dembele growth test. Recently added into FIFA 20. He had a potential of 85. We managed to get him up to an 88. And as we cap things off. He is the captain of Celtic. Number 77. A full decade at the club. The ribbons are green and white on the trophy. 
If you did go on to enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications for daily FIFA 20 career mode content. Follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description. Also, make sure to comment down below any more suggestions for growth tests on the channel. We've got some major wonder kids that are about to be added into FIFA 20, and you bet they'll be next on the growth test list. I hope you did enjoy. I've been BCHD as always, and I'll catch you all in the very next video.